Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to change eye direction in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into making selection with the use of lasso tool, applying transformation command, applying content aware fill, and masking with the use of brush. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepared here an image of this boy with those two large eyes. And our goal here is to change the direction of the eye moving to the right. Okay, so the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection around those two iris with the use of lasso tool. Okay, so to do that, going on to the layers panel, click on the background layer to make it active, then go to the toolbar, find the lasso tool. It's this symbol. Click that. Then for the options panel, I'm going to click on this one. Add to selection. All right, there you go. And then, so let's create a selection around those iris giving some allowance. Okay, so starting from this eye, we're going to create something like this. There you are. And also to the other eye. There you are. Okay, so once we already have this selection, we're going to create a layer of its own by pressing Ctrl plus J. There you go. So that's what we already have now. Okay, now the next step here is we're going to reposition this layer. So to do that, with that layer on top selected, press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command, and then let's reposition this one. Click and dragging, moving to the right. Okay, well, this one will be helpful for us to create a natural look. So, so let's go to the opacity and decrease this one. Okay. Reposition into this, something like that. Okay, that seems okay in my case. Then hit enter. All right, so let's bring back the opacity back to 100%. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, going back, for us not to be confused, let's rename this layer as the iris. Okay. Then, the next step we're going to do here, we're going to remove the iris on this background layer. All right? So to do that, we're going to make use of the lasso tool for making selections once again. So from the layers panel, Click on the background layer, then let's get the lasso tool, All right? This one, or you can just press L for the shortcut key. Then I'm going to make another selection around this iris. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to give it too much allowance, yeah, but this one is fine. Okay, and then with this selection and with the background layer active, go to the menu bar, go to edit, then find content aware fill. So once I click that, this window will appear. Then I'm going to click on the on the sampling brush tool. Okay, so you can see here in the preview that the eyes still have black. Okay, that means the iris is still not removed, right? Okay, why? Because it's trying to copy or get a sample around the area on the skin. So to fix that, make, make sure that the minus symbol is on our sampling brush tool. Okay, then let's remove the green markings. Okay, for that, it won't copy on that part. And also this one. All right, now that seems getting better. Look at that. Look at that preview. Okay, now it's trying to get a sample from those white areas. See? So once you think you're good with it, okay, so go here from the content aware field properties. Then from the output to set this one to new layer. To, and then hit apply. And then hit OK. All right, so that's it. So actually, once I did that, it created this layer, right? So if I remove that, that's how it goes, right? Okay, now let's name this layer as the uh, clear right iris. Okay, there we are. All right, press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Let's make this one look natural. So we're going to do the masking here from, this, from that clear right iris selected. Let's add a layer mask. So with that clear right iris layer active, go down here at the bottom and select on this add layer mask there you are now select on the layer mask thumbnail and then press b for the brush tool for the options i'm going to set the brush size into soft round brush okay 
And then for the opacity, I'm going to set that to 100%, also with the flow of 100%. And for the smoothing, let's set this one into 20%. All right, now we can now start making this one look natural. So for the foreground color, I want to remove this area here. Those are unwanted parts that we need to remove on. Okay, so press B for the shortcut key. Uh, press B for the brush tool. For the foreground color, I'm going to set this one to black and then start erasing those unwanted areas. So once you think that this the iris is already getting back, press X to switch that. Now the foreground color is white and then start brushing on the area to remove the iris. All right, I think that's good. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this one out for us to see the result. Ooh, that looks creepy. Okay, now I'm going to bring back the iris now for us to see how we change the eye direction. Okay, so from that layers panel, click on the iris. Yes, click this one to make it visible. All right, there you go. I think you can already see the result. You will notice here that there are also unwanted areas from this. Okay, so that's the allowance that we did a while ago from our selection, right? Okay, so from that iris layer, let's add a layer mask. All right, so from that iris layer selected, let's add a layer mask. So go down here again, click this icon, add layer mask. There you are. Select on the layer mask thumbnail, then get the brush tool. No need for us to make changes on the options panel. Set the foreground color to black, and let's remove those one unwanted area. All right, now that looks better, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this one out for us to see the result. All right, now that looks so natural. All right, now let's go to the next part and let's fix on this left eye. Okay, so the same thing that we did here, go and click a background layer to make it active. Get the lasso tool, press L. Okay, let's hide the iris layer first. Okay, let's create a selection on, around the iris. There you are. With that selection, I'll go to the menu bar, go to edit, then choose on content aware fill. And then let's remove the markings on the skin. All right. Look at the preview, still black. All right, there you go, it's starting to get white. All right, I think that's fine. Then make sure to click this one, output to new layer. Then hit apply and OK. Press Ctrl plus T to deselect. Now let's fix this one. Okay, so actually it's this layer. Let's rename this layer as the clear left iris. Click on that clear left iris to make it active. Let's add a layer mask. Click this icon. There you are. Select on the layer mask thumbnail. Press B for the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black and let's start clearing this up. All right, I guess that's better. All right, let's zoom this one out. Okay, now this kid looks creepy. The next appears, let's bring back the iris layer visible. Play. Click this one, there we are. Now let's start masking around this iris over here, All right? Just the same thing that we did. Let's click on that layer mask thumbnail of the iris layer. Press B for the brush tool. Set the color to black. And let's start cleaning those unwanted areas. All right, now that looks better. All right, so we're almost done. There you are. So let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to change eye direction in Photoshop.